Hello students, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about HVZ reaction. And in our channel, we are providing handwritten notes for every topic which we have explained. So if any one of you need to download handwritten notes for this topic, you just go and check out the description or else comment section where I have given link to download PDF for this topic notes. So now let's move on to the topic. HVZ reaction. So here HVZ stands for hell wolhard zelinsky halogenation reaction. Now let's understand the definition of this reaction. So here carboxylic acids which are having an alpha hydrogen. So they undergo halogenation. Halogenation in the sense they are reacting with bromine or chlorine. In the presence of small amount of red phosphorus to give alpha halo carboxylic acid as a product. So this reaction is called as HVZ reaction that is hell wolhard zelinsky halogenation reaction. So now let us see with the reaction. So firstly I am taking the acetic acid. So this acetic acid on reacting with bromine in the presence of red phosphorus then the product that we could obtain here is bromoacetic acid. Okay. So here this reaction is bromination. So you can observe always acids containing alpha hydrogen right so here COOH is a functional group and beside this functional group we have CH3 so this carbon is a alpha carbon so whatever the hydrogens which are attached to this alpha carbon we call them as a alpha hydrogens so always alpha hydrogen containing acids undergoing this reaction so here CH3 COOH is reacting with Br2 so this hydrogen is getting replaced with Br and we get Br CH2COOH that means alpha substituted acid as a product here. So that here bromoacetic acid is forming as a product and HBr as a byproduct. So now let us see the mechanism of this reaction. In this reaction red phosphorus is acting as a catalyst ok. So CH3COOH I am taking first and here I am adding Br2. So we know Br2 can dissociate into Br plus and Br minus. So I am shifting this bond so Br minus will be formed. Then this OH first replaced with Br minus ok. So OH minus is coming out and in that place Br minus is added. So you can observe here CH3COBr. So acetyl bromide is forming as an intermediate here. So next what I will do? I am doing keto enol tautomerism. So if you remember keto enol tautomerism, you can understand this very easily. So here I am shifting this double bond up. That is I am shifting this pi bond towards up direction. Then here oxygen gets negative charge and this carbon gets positive charge. And again here I am shifting this bond, this hydrogen bond towards up direction then this carbon gets negative then this negative and this positive there is a double bond formation so here hydrogen is reacting with o minus and forming oh bond so you can observe ch2 double bond c o h br okay so this is a keto form is converted into enolic form so next what i'll do i'm shifting this bond to this oxygen side and oxygen gets negative charge hydrogen gets positive charge. So I am shifting this double bond again this side and this carbon gets negative charge and this carbon gets positive charge. And this negative charge and this positive charge forming a double bond here. C double bond O. And this hydrogen that is I am removing this hydrogen in the form of H plus and H plus is coming out. Okay. So now you can see this CH2 minus is reacting with this Br plus and forming CH2Br bond. So that is nothing but 2 bromoacetyl bromide. So now this 2 bromoacetyl bromide is reacting with one more acetic acid molecule and forming a bromoacetic acid as a product. Now let us see in this particular reaction there is a exchange between these two. This OH is replaced with Br and Br is replaced with OH. So OH is here, Br is here, okay. So we get bromoacetic acid that is nothing but alpha substituted acid as a product, okay. So this is all about the reaction and mechanism of HVZ reaction. 
and to listen more reaction mechanisms like this and more concepts related to chemistry do subscribe our channel